the sln function returns the depreciation of an asset for a period based on the straight line depreciation method the straight line method depreciates an asset equally over all the years of its useful life the calculated depreciation is based on initial asset cost salvage value and the number of periods over which the asset is depreciated here is the syntax cost initial cost of asset salvage asset value at the end of useful life life periods over which asset is depreciated for example calculate depreciation for an asset with an initial cost of dollar 10000 a useful life of 5 years and a salvage value of $2000 use this formula it returns 1600 if the salvage value is changed to 0 meaning the assets cost will be fully depreciated at the end of its useful life the depreciation per year changes to 2000 in accounting depreciation is used to calculate the depreciated value of an asset every year of its lifetime for example we have initial cost salvage and life in years of an asset calculate the depreciated value of the asset in every year of its lifetime at the beginning year 0 the asset is not depreciated and it will have its full value so for year 0 the depreciated value is equal to the initial cost of the asset enter equal to c3 for depreciation value in year 0 for year 1 use this formula to calculate depreciation use absolute reference as the values will be the same in each year accumulated depreciation is the total depreciation of the asset from the beginning to the current year add the accumulated depreciation of the previous year and depreciation of the current year to get the accumulated depreciation of the current year to get the current value of the asset subtract the accumulated depreciation of the year from the initial cost of the asset use absolute reference for initial cost as it will remain the same in every year copy the formulas down to get all the values for other years at the end of the life the current value is equal to the salvage amount change the salvage value to 0 all the values change at the end of the life the current value is equal to the 0 some depreciation systems use a half year convention for the half year convention the asset is assumed to have been purchased at the halfway point of the year and consequently half of the normal year's depreciation is recorded for that year take 50% of the depreciation in year 1 and then take the other half of the year's depreciation in year n plus 1 of the useful life if half year convention is used an extra year is added to the depreciation table create a depreciation schedule for five assets using the straight line method and a half year convention asset number a unique identifier for each asset cost the amount paid to put the asset in service this includes the price paid for the asset any taxes associated with purchase the cost to ship the asset to its place of service and any cost to install the asset so that it is ready for use year acquired the year the asset was put into service this may be different than the year the payment was made to purchase the asset it determines when depreciation starts useful life the number of years you estimate the asset will provide service use this formula the main part of this formula is sln function the salvage value is set to 0 the first if function determines if the column is within the asset's useful life if the year of the date in a6 is less than the year acquired then the asset isn't in service yet and the depreciation is not calculated if a6 is greater than the year acquired plus the useful life the asset is already fully depreciated and the depreciation is not calculated both these conditions are wrapped in an or function so that if either is true the whole expression returns true and an empty string is returned if both are false depreciation is calculated using sln function and multiplied by 0.5 or 1 based on year 
if an or combination is used to check the year. The first condition checks to see if the year in A6 is first year of useful life. The second condition checks to see if the year in A6 is the last year of useful life. If either is true, the SLN result is multiplied by 0.5 representing the half year convention. Use absolute reference wherever needed so that the formula can be copied down and to the right and cell references change appropriately. Use absolute reference to column A so that the formula always uses the date in column A. Use absolute reference for rows 3, 4 and 5 so cost, year acquired and useful life stay the same for each asset as the formula is copied. Copy the formulas down and to the right. For asset 4, the useful life is 5 years so the depreciation years are 6. The depreciation is half of the normal depreciation in the first and sixth year. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.